Welcome to another edition of Tales of the Workshop. Today, we're going to be looking at the subject of phase rotation as it relates to three-phase induction motors and three-phase power. Stay tuned, we're just going to get started. One of the challenges in working in either new construction or in maintenance for an electrician in dealing with three-phase induction motors is that it's common knowledge that we can reverse the direction of rotation of a three-phase motor by switching any two of the three phases. The problem for us is that not uh, on the documentation that comes with the motor, it doesn't provide me with any kind of information to tell me is the motor going to turn clockwise or counterclockwise? Now, the manufacturer has done a great job of labeling all of their conductors here um, at the connection point. Now, obviously, we're missing the motor junction box, but what they have done is label the blue as terminal one, white as terminal two, and orange as terminal three. So I'm going to take a moment. I want to document this on my blackboard. So blue terminal one, white terminal two, and orange terminal three. Now that I've recorded the numbers as well as the colors, here in Canada, we actually have a color code for our three-phase system. Our conductors are labeled as red, which stands for L1, black, which is represented as line two, and blue for L3. Under this configuration right now, I don't know which way is the motor going to turn. Now, when we look at a motor and we try to determine rotation, rotation is always going to be assessed by facing the output shaft of the motor. In this case, as if I'm standing in front of it, I have to assess, is it going to turn clockwise or counterclockwise? Now, I'm gonna bring the motor a little bit closer and I'm gonna grab a phase rotation meter that's going to allow me to check this. Now, the nice thing about the unit I'm going to use, I don't need electricity or to hook up the motor in order to do this assessment. Now, the device I'm using is produced by a company called Amp Probe. I particularly like this device because of the fact it provides me with the ability to take measurements on a live panel to determine phase rotation, but then I can turn it around and then this allows me to test motors that are not powered to determine their direction of rotation. So it's a really handy tool to have and, and it provides me with a lot of flexibility. And that's the important thing to me, whether I am working in construction or in maintenance and I have to go and switch out a motor. I don't like to gamble and guess, is the motor gonna turn the correct manner by chance? As I said uh, previously, certain pieces of equipment may not be um, capable of turning in a reverse direction without damage. And that's a really important thing we gotta bear in mind. So I'm gonna go and get the probes and we're gonna start testing our motor. So the, pro the probes are color-coded blue green technically speaking in canada it should be black but i think we can forgive them and red now we've got our uh, our leads available to us from the motor and so i'm just going to put my device down and we're going to hook it up so red is going to go to terminal one green Oh, pardon me, I made a mistake. Red is going to the blue because it's labeled as one. Green is gonna go to terminal two. 
And finally, the blue, which represents L3, is going to terminal 3. And this is based off of the manufacturer. Now, it's important that none of the test probes are touching one another when we do this. Now, here, we have a small battery. So we can do a test. We can see that the battery light has lit up, but we're not seeing anything. That's because I manually have to turn the shaft of the motor. And it does not matter which way I turn the shaft. So I'm going to turn it clockwise. Now let's have a look. And what we can see is under this current configuration, it's going to turn clockwise. And if I turn it counterclockwise, it's lighting up as counterclockwise. So I'm seeing what I want to see is that if we wire it up this way, it's showing that as I turn it clockwise, it's lighting up as clockwise. Now, Let's document it. So if we were to follow the standard color pattern, then this is going to turn clockwise. Now, just for the sake of argument, I'm going to switch any two of the leads and see if by doing this, I'm going to get a different reading. So I'm going to exchange green for blue. So green is going over here, blue going over here. And again, make sure nothing, none of the bare conductors are touching one another. I'm going to hit the push to test button and I'm going to turn it clockwise again. And what it's showing is that the counterclockwise light is lighting up. So that means then that it's actually turning backwards. So this is an important thing to bear in mind. So this is as simple as it is when it comes to a motor. What we, what we should do now is go and have a look at a three phase disconnect. So here we are at an atypical three phase disconnect. You'll see that it is in the uh, open position and we can actually just open it up and have a look. It is a fuse disconnect and we can actually see that the knives, you know, up here, this is still considered live, but down here we can see that the knives are out and we have our fuses. Also that our color coding, we can see red, black, and blue. There is our bond wire going through the system and that there is a neutral. Now looking at it, the probes that come with my phase rotation meter are not going to be easily inserted into here. I've looked at it and this is on purpose. The manufacturer has set up these disconnects in order to make it a little bit harder for people to try and get a reading when it's live. Uh, overriding, sa safety is always the overriding concern. Looking at this, I would have to jury rig something in order to get a reading using these probes. And so for that reason, I'm going to forego using these particular probes. And we're kind of lucky is that here at the college, uh, we've made or uh, we've made access points for testing. And if we look at it, the wiring is actually going up to this junction box and that they are color coded red, black and blue. So what I propose to do is instead of using these alligator clips, I've exchanged them for these banana jacks right here. And this is what we're going to do. What, it, what it's going to allow me to do is I'll be able to set things up, measure phase rotation with the door of my disconnect closed and still get that accurate reading. Now, the only drawback here is that all of my leads are the same color. So I'm gonna to have to be mindful of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is organize my leads and we're gonna set it up in a sequential order. 
I see that I have a blue connection. So we're going to go ahead and hook up blue to the blue phase right over here. We're going to take my other lead. Now typically this should be black to black and finally red or L1 to red phase over here. Now all it is required now is I'm going to throw the switch energize my disconnect and then we're going to take a reading. Now how this works is based off of this color coding L1, L2, L3 or red, black, blue. They should all light up and then it's going to give me a direction of rotation whether it's going to be counterclockwise or on this side clockwise. Now it bears mentioning that this is um, this device is rated for up to 600 volts. So here goes, for not forgetting to use the left hand rule when we throw a disconnect. So I'm going to put this here, avert my face, use the left hand, throw the disconnect, and then what we can do is take a look at our phase rotation meter. And what we can see is that all three phases have lit up, the system's energized, and currently with this uh, configuration, red, black, and blue, I'm going to get a clockwise rotation. So that means then that what I recorded over at the motor, if I follow this, I'm going to get a motor that's going to be turning clockwise. If I hook that motor for red, black, and blue on this particular system. And that's one of the important things we have to bear in mind. Right now, here at Cambrian College, if we were to install that motor in this particular location, my phase rotation is such that with the red, black, blue, it's going to yield a clockwise rotation. And that's one of the key takeaways. So what we're going to do now is turn off my disconnect and disconnect my leads. Again, left hand rule, disconnect, And now on to our next task. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for tuning in and watching our segment on phase rotation. If you're enjoying these videos, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It'll feed the YouTube's algorithm and look forward to other videos coming in the coming weeks. Until next time, please stay safe.